Hey everyone, in today's how-to video, I wanna show you how to change eye colors on any image inside of Photoshop. It's a pretty straightforward process, but I wanted to make it as simple as fast as possible, even if you've never used Photoshop before, I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to change eye colors inside of that. It comes in really handy and it's very straightforward. Now, in the description box below this video, I do have a free trial link to Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop, but you wanna try this out, and follow along, you could go ahead and do that. And this is also part of my course on Photoshop, a beginner's guide to Photoshop, about four hours of content. So I'll put that in the description as well if you wanna check that out. Let's jump in and change eye color right inside of Photoshop. Here's the image that I'm gonna use from pixels.com here and I just downloaded it. And let me go to Photoshop here to show you the exact process of changing the eye color here. The very first thing I typically like to do is just zoom in. So I'm gonna to try to use a lot of these tools on the left side here and not use the keyboard shortcut. So let's click on the magnifier glass, that's our zoom tool. And if you just click in the center here between the two eyes a couple of times, maybe three times, it's gonna zoom in far enough for us to see what we're doing. And if I click the hand tool here, I could go ahead and click and drag here to just go ahead and center everything up in our image. Now, I need to select the eyes but I like to do this part quickly because I could always fix it after I change the eye color. So what I usually do is come up here and right here, this rectangle marquee tool, if you press and hold, you get these other tools like the elliptical marquee tool. So that's the one I'm gonna choose here. And I should have this little cross here now that I have that tool selected and you can see my tool options on top. Now I'm just gonna click and drag and roughly try to select the eyes. Now it doesn't have to be perfect again because we're gonna go ahead and fix it after. But if I hold the space bar before I let go, I could move this around. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up a little bit over here and then I'll drag it a little bit more. So I haven't let go yet when I started and that's how I could press the space bar to move my selection. Now to add the other eye, I just have to click on the marquee tool one more time, the elliptical marquee tool and I'm gonna hold shift this time to add to this selection. As long as you hold shift, it's not going to replace that other selection. So again, as I'm holding shift, I could also hold the space bar again to move this marquee selection around. I'm gonna let go. Now I have the two eyes selected. Now, all I have to do is over here on my layer panel, I just have my image right here. Let me actually grab the layer panel and bring it right in the middle so you see what I'm doing a little bit easier. You obviously don't have to move your layer panel, but there are these things called adjustment layers and this is the little icon from. Click this and you get all these different types of adjustment layers and we care about hue and saturation. That's how colors change, so I'm gonna select that and it's gonna add another layer here. Let me go ahead and extend this a little bit. So I have my background, that's my image, and now I have a hue and saturation on top of it, so I'm gonna select this. As you could see, I should have this property panel somewhere on my page. Yours might be over here, but it should show up here as long as you have this selected. And with this selection here, I could go ahead and change the hue. If I go left and right, it's gonna change the eye color. Take a look at it here. If I go left, you could see I'm changing the eye color, and if I go right, I'm changing the eye color a different way, and my hue bar is moving over here as I go through this process. So there are a couple of things that we still need to worry about here. One is some of these colors are spilling over to her eyelashes here, so we're gonna need to fix that, and sometimes if I go to green, for example, it looks a little bit bright, so I need to bring the saturation down. So basically play with the hue, find the color you want, and then reduce the saturation so it's not so bright. As you can see, if I go to 100, for example, it doesn't look right at all. And around zero, it still doesn't quite look right. So I usually like to bring it down a little bit here in between zero and negative 100. So again, depends on your image and how bright the eyes are and how colorful they are. You could also play with this colorize option too. It gives you kind of a different effect. It starts with a red hue and you could go ahead and go through it this way. With these, you have to bring the saturation way down, somewhere around like five or 10, but colorize is another way to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for now and I'll stick with what I had before. Now, just to show you, the original image is still there. So you could click this eyeball right here to see before, which was kind of a bluish green, her natural eye color. 
and now after which is more green here all around so it was just that simple to change it but now to clean it up a little bit let me show you how I do that there's a tool over here called the brush tool so I'm gonna choose that tool I'm gonna select this black square right here to get my layer mask you see those two little white dots here those are my selections of the eye so I could fine-tune them here with the brush tool selected and this box selected I could go ahead and paint right here but I need to make sure my brush size is the right size that's that little white circle right here in the center so I could go ahead up here and make sure it's pretty small so in my case of this image 17 looks good you see it's very small so I'm gonna make really fine selections and the hardness I need to really bring down to like 5% so I definitely don't want a really harsh hardness here 5% seems to work so these are my settings and this is my brush so now if I paint with black I'm gonna take away from the selection well how do I know I'm gonna paint with black that's this box right here the foreground color is black and this background is white to switch the two you could press this little arrow and it switches it so as long as I'm on the, I'm on the black I'm gonna take away from my selection so I could just go ahead and paint right here and it's gonna slowly take away from any mistakes I made when I made the selection now I could look at before and after to make sure there's a little bit still on top here so I'm gonna go ahead and paint that out of my selection so again it's looking a lot better and I could go ahead and keep refining this as much as I want to and I could come over here and do the same thing with this eye as well so I'll just go ahead and kind of paint this and if I make any mistakes I could go ahead and switch these two bring the white in the foreground with this little arrow and add to it again so if I make any mistakes I could go ahead and do it that way now this is very very subtle and by the time we zoom out you're not going to really notice so let me go ahead and bring this layer panel back here and let me press the zoom that's over here and I'm gonna click the minus the zoom out and I'll select this a couple of times and I'll bring the hand tool to bring her to the center so now as you can see when I zoom out you really can't tell anyway if I didn't perfectly refine the edges but I definitely recommend that you take your time and do that but this is after this is before you could see it's very subtle but very natural in the way her eye color looks here in this image thanks so much for watching this video check out the description box below to all the resources i mentioned and please give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful thanks so much again and i'll see you next time